Hello and welcome to Tech Gainers. My name is Chandra and I am a Technology Explorer. In this video we will talk about Flowable, how to get started with Flowable. So let's get started. Okay, so to start with Flowable is an open source workflow automation tool. Basically it is entirely written in Java. And if you get started with this, you can directly go to GitHub. Okay. And the github is flowable slash flowable engine okay and in the releases you can see latest release flowable 6.8.0 easiest way to try or get started with flowable is via the flowable zip file so what you can do you can click on this and you will be able to download this zip file so for example this is the zip file i have downloaded you can unzip it inside this you can see we have wars uh, so there are two wars here rest.war and ui.war so we'll start with flowable ui basically this gives you a use, visual interface where you can design your application you can administrator your applications and um, and several other things you can do so you can directly run this war file in command prompt and basically this is a spring boot application so uh, by default uh, this database is s2 so we can change it later on okay if you want to uh, put mysql postgres or any other database you can do that we'll, we'll cover that in our subsequent videos but today's video it will be mostly towards getting started how you can get started with flowable now you can see flowable ui start completed okay now because i have already run this application so it will try to read all the jobs and right now you can see using database type h2 so it will acquire the different jobs async jobs whatever uh, if it was active by default it runs on localhost 8080 and this is the uh, url localhost 8080 slash flowable ui and by default user id and password is admin and test once you okay so once you logged into flowable ui you can see four different tiles first one is the task app modeler app admin app and idm app let me tell you about this task app is the app where all the tasks right if human tasks are there right so all those tasks will come into picture here okay also we can start a new process so we'll cover those things in our subsequent topics but processes are so first you a create a workflow using a modeler basically this workflow is your start till end for example your leave application okay so that is one workflow so you create a workflow and then you can start a workflow and the executed workflow or you can say the work the workflow that is executed which again act as a process okay so you will run the new process and based on the process it could be your automated task or it could be your manual task okay so manual task is assigned to some man, uh, human right or we can we also called it as human task so those tasks those processes part of task app now modeler app as i was talking about it is used to model you can model your bpmn you can model your dmn dmn is your decision tables you can model your forms forms are basically the place where the human can give a input okay and you can create other definitions as well now admin app is the app where you can administrate all your different applications your instances you can able to see a historic task you can see the executions everything our admin can do this is the capability they have to use last one is the idm idm app which is identity and management app okay so here you can create the users you can 
create groups you can have set the privileges for the users privilege for the groups so this is all about four different uh, functionalities that is provided by flowable ui so now in this video i will just quickly cover the modeler part you can see we are into modeler tell you this very simple basic model basic process you click on create process just name the process okay i'm saying hello bpmn you can put the model key which is your basically key used by if you are embedding into some other bpmn you can provide that so i click on create new bpmn yes so now uh, we can see i will cover this modeler in a separate video but just want to tell you you can click here okay you can say i'm manual task so a manual task approve reject okay and then once this is approved reject i can say just close it so this is my one workflow and you can set multiple properties for example this is the properties of the entire workflow you can set the properties for a object as well so for example this human task we have these properties for example assignments right who you want to assign either from the identity store or fixed values so i can enter okay assign this task to admin okay so other properties like allow process initiator to complete tasks for example an admin is initiating he can complete or this picture this this attribute right comes into place right for example i am initiating a leave application in that case i should not be allowed to complete the task it should be my manager or my senior who will be able to complete the task approving or rejecting the leaves i can click save so that is how you can use the modeler okay we'll cover different parts of this modeler in different videos for clarity okay so in the next video i will cover how you can get started with spring boot as well okay so yeah feel free to put your any questions any queries in the comments and if you like the video please subscribe thank you